Hello guys, HD Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download mods in BMNG Drive in 2016. So, now, there's no guarantee that this will work, because some of them are either unsupported with the game, or they're corrupted, or some other stuff might be wrong with your game itself, so make sure you go open your popular browser, and go to the main BMNG Drive site. I will link it down in the description for you guys to go ahead and get, after I figure out what the site is. I will link down other modding sites as well, so you guys can go ahead and check out those. They're not recommended to use them though, because they may have viruses in them, or some other stuff with it that may not be good for your computer. So I recommend going with the main BeamNG drive site. Once it loads up, click the mods in the top. So what they have is vehicles, uh, trains and level scenarios, user interface sounds, and then they have three other ones that are pretty cool. I've not checked out license plates, I really have to one of these days, but for now we're going to have to do, go ahead and do vehicles. So there's tons of varieties of vehicles here, there's not as much as you think there would be, I would expect a little more like a few thousand, but there's not uh, that much to be honest, but there's still other modding sites to get some other mods off of for this game. So in this case I'm going to have to do the Gavro D15 2001. And once it pops up, it should either say beta or should, I forgot what the word is for when it's finished. What it usually says but make sure you click the download now button and my wi-fi is slow so i am going to go ahead and time lapse this video right now Alright guys, so just go ahead and open it up. Now you have a folder right here, it's called vehicles, click that. Some, in some cases you may have one or two, so it depends. So make sure you just drag the pickup truck uh, folder over. And I did forget to uh, do this earlier, make sure you bring the com click common and then drag that too. Or else if you just drag one of them, half the car will be there and half it won't. So make sure you drag p both the pickup truck files into your... Uh, or BeamNG directory, or not your directory, your... actually I'll show you guys in a second so just wait for that. So the steps to get there is you're going to have to go to your C drive, program files, go to Steam, Steam apps, common, and then BeamNG drive. So make sure you go ahead and click that if my thing never moves, which I have no clue what's going on. I'm doing a voiceover, so that's why I'm questioning myself. But make sure you click BMG Drive anytime sooner. Okay, make sure you click Content, Vehicles, and then make sure you copy and paste it. And sometimes it's also, you had to create a mod folder as well back uh, a year ago, but now they actually created one for you in the content area. So make sure you drag in the two pickup truck folders into your uh, content vehicle folder. In this case I did forget to do, do it, but I do do it later when I show you guys the gameplay of it in a second. So if I will get to the gameplay in a few seconds. So make sure you do uh, go to the common area and drag the pickup truck in. That's a really big important part. So make sure you do that and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Alright guys, so I am back and we're going to go open a map and see if this did work.
All right, so let's go to our vehicles. Now I did uh, check if it was in the Garo Romo and it was not, which is kind of odd considering it did have the front of a Gavel Romer and uh, had the back of a Gavel D series. Not quite sure why it was not in the Gavel Romer, but that's kind of strange. It turns out it was here. Now, uh, what you had also forgot to mention why it may show up whole like it is right now. And it may not show up whole for you, but you will have to put in that second file, that second pickup truck file in there as well. So don't, I probably put a reminder right when I was at that, when I'm at that part when I'm editing the video. So you won't have to worry, you probably already have it in by now when I'm saying this. But yeah, it should look like this. There's a bunch of models like this. This is a pretty cool mod. I would recommend getting it. I'll link it down in the description for you guys to go ahead and get. So if this did help you out, please smash that like button. And I'll see you guys later.